Hi, I am Saradi and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to enable ODL tracing for power center of officers. Now we are going to see what is ODL tracing, how to enable ODL tracing and where to find the ODL trace logs. So for a power center repository service, if ODL tracing is enabled, then in the repository service log we would see all the queries that are fired on the repository schema by the repositories. Uh, service. For example, let's say a repository manager has connected to a repository service and then it's trying to open a folder to list all the objects in the folder. Now, the objects in the folder, the metadata is stored in the Power Center repository service schema. So, for that, the Power Center repository service will be firing certain queries on the database and it would fetch the results and then the repository manager would show the folders. So for, for troubleshooting certain issues in order to see what is the query that is last fired or what is the query that is fired for a particular operation, Informatica support might be requesting for ODL traces. So in this video we are going to see how do we enable the ODL trace for repository service and how to retrieve the logs with ODL traces. So in order to do that, I will be logging into the admin console. So I will log into the admin console. I would see my repository service. Then the first thing that I would do is under the advanced properties, there is something called log level. So if the log level is anything other than trace, then change the log level to trace. I will go here and I will change from any, any value to trace. I'll say OK. Then we need to add a custom property. So add the custom property, enable ODL tracing. Enable ODL tracing. So you add the custom property with this string, enable ODL tracing. This is the string. So uh, if you include any other string, it would not work. So you just have to have this string in place and the value to yes. So enable ODL tracing is set to yes. I'll say OK and then I'll click OK. So for the changes to take place, I'll be recycling the service in complete mode or in about mode. The service is getting disabled. So after the service is enabled, we would see that the ODL tracing is enabled and the queries could be actually found in the repository service log. So it is the same repository service log that contains the ODL traces. ODL traces are nothing but the queries that are fired on the repository schema by the repository service for any operation. Now let's say the service is enabled, so I'll try to retrieve the logs. So let's say I'll try to retrieve the repository service logs come here I would I would see that the level is set to trace now I go here and ensure that the error level is set to trace and this is set to yes now let's say I want to see certain queries being fired on the repository service I will try to recycle the integration service So after the integration service is recycled, I will see if the integration service has fired some queries on the repository service. I will click on the repository service and go for the logs. Then if you see in the repository service logs, you will see strings called ODL traces. So this would show all the queries that are found and we would not know what are the bind variables, but we would definitely know what are the queries that are fired on the repository service schema when some operation is being done. So after enabling ODL tracing, you just need to recycle the repository service. The integration service need not be recycled. I have recycled integration service here just to show what are the queries fired by integration service when it goes down and comes up. So that's the reason why you see these ODL traces here. So in, in, in order to see if ODL traces properly enabled, you could try after recycling the repository service, you could try connecting from any client and just list the folders in the client or open any folder in the client and you should see queries being written into this log with a uh, tag called ODL trace. 
So <coughs> the Odeal trace logs will always go to the repository service logs and when Informatica support us for Odeal tracing, you could enable it that way by enabling the custom property and by changing the log level to trace and then recycling the repository service and you could perform the operation which is causing the problem and then you could export the repository service log and send it to us. So to disable the ODL tracing all that you could do is you could either change this value, you could change the existing value, you could delete it because you cannot change the custom property and then you can change the log level from trace to whatever is the level that is required maybe info again and you will have to recycle the repository service for the effect to take place so this is what we have learned in this video we have seen what is ODL tracing how to enable ODL tracing and where to find the ODL trace logs so that they can be sent to informatical customer support if required we would love to hear from you so you could write to us in support videos at informatica.com or you could follow us on twitter uh, account of info support thank you